影片备有多种语言字幕。Multilingual subtitles available. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Dr. Hedges' Foodie Reveals. Today, we're going to New Century Plaza in Mongkok to have a buffet lunch. The place to eat is Royal Plaza Hotel on the first floor of the shopping mall, La Scala Restaurant. Today, we have chosen this because we are trying our bargain challenge again, just like last time. With a condition of less than three hundred dollars per person, we have tried to make our booking again to see if the foods here can meet our expectations. This buffet was booked from the Klook website. This time, we caught an online promotion, so the initial price for the two people became five hundred nine Hong Kong dollars. And additionally, when you settle the payment through the Pay Me method, each person can get another twenty dollar discount. So after adding back the service charges, the final price per capita became two hundred and sixty dollars. I would say overall, this wasn't a bad deal. Due to the time limit, we have chosen the first time slot today, which is from noon to two thirty p.m. There are many people attending the buffet, so we have to queue up early to enter the restaurant. This restaurant is really spacious. The dining area has a lot of tables. The tables are adequately spaced out, and the place is very clean. As you can see, I have to go around few circles from the beginning to the end. You can see there is a seafood and cold dish section, the sashimi and oyster counter, the hot foods area, and the desserts area. It seems there are a lot of food. You can see that I didn't repeat the route, yet I still have to walk for half a minute before I finish my stroll. To avoid misunderstanding, I have to declare this is an honest booty review on my own expense. We just hope everyone would like to watch this video, and please like and subscribe to support it. Without further delay, we will continue with our booty review. First of all, let's look at the oyster counter. Oysters are very popular with the diners. Every time I have to wait a long queue to get the oysters, but no worries, I can see the chef keep refilling the oysters throughout the whole buffet session. The oysters are really big, and the chefs are working at the top speed to handle the oysters. They are really fast doing their job. A round of applause for their skills. My two oysters are really big, so I think it's worth the wait. In addition to the oysters, the seafood here are mussels, shrimps, clams, and squid. After trying them out, I feel that the oysters are big. You can see that they are sized almost half a palm. The meat is considered fresh. The oysters are quite full-bodied with a mineral taste, so my whole family enjoyed eating them and made several refills. Other seafood are as shown here. Mama Hedge really enjoyed eating the shrimps as they are nicely textured. There are not many choices at sashimi counters. Options are mainly salmon, snapper, mackerel, and imitation abalone. Whereas for sushi, there are only rice rolls, hence not very special. After eating, I feel that the salmon is moderately firm and oily. The meat is fresh with no strange aftertaste. The snapper has a lighter flavor without much umami taste. And the imitation abalone is just like those you have in the rice noodle stores, so they are just mediocre and so-so. There are many choices of salads and cold cuts, whether it's fresh vegetables or pickled vegetables or pre-mixed salads. In addition, there are cheese and frozen meats with ham. So for Papa Hedge, who really likes vegetables and salads, he would say that he was very satisfied with the choices of salads and the smoked salmon. Let's take a closer look. The salads do look pretty fresh to me. After having the cold cuts, I will go to the roast meat counter. The appearance of the roast meat is good. It is not overcooked, and the portion is not too small. In terms of sauces, there are three choices. I would think the gravy is the best, as it won't overtake too much of the flavor of the meat. By the way, I have to tell everyone how tricky this roast meat station is. After serving the beef in the first round, the roast meat will be switched. For example, the second round will be roast pork belly, the third round will be pork ribs with barbecue sauce, and the fourth round will be gammon. 
This seems like a magic barbecue station that transforms itself, while the value of the meat will drop round by round. So if you're a friend who really likes to eat roasted beef, please don't miss the piece of beef at the beginning because it will not return for your second servings. I feel that the roasted beef is well cooked, the meat is soft and tender. The roasted pork looks fat but the skin is nice and crispy. The pork ribs in barbecue sauce are rich in flavor. When comparing the three types of barbecue meat, I would think the roast beef is the best. So once again, I would like to remind everyone not to miss the first serving of roasted beef. In addition to the roast counter, the restaurant has a lot of different hot dishes to choose from, but it's really a lot of food so my family can't try all of it. In a word, the appearance of the dishes is very pleasing, so friends who have big appetites would surely not be disappointed. Let's randomly choose a few dishes to try. I think the Thai pork is delicious in its sauce. The pork is nice and tender and has a nice wheat and sour taste. It should be a children's favorite. The beef stew is nicely cooked with a rich red wine sauce. It has the style of a traditional western restaurant. Papa Heji will try his favorite curry. The taste is more Hong Kong style and suits the local preference, not very spicy. I'm just interested in a more authentic Hong Kong style street food, like this fish maw and shredded duck soup. It looks really appetizing, so I have ordered a bowl of soup for a try. Next to it, the counter serves the fish balls, pork skin and radishes. Whereas for these large pots in the corner, in addition to the common soups, there are also stewed pig's knuckles in ginger and vinegar sauce. I've tried this bowl of soup and I felt the taste was well grasped and very rich. You can see that the ingredients on the side are all good. There is a lot of shredded duck so when you drink it, you can munch on the meat. You can also taste the occasional smoothness of the fish more. So overall, the taste of this soup is very rich. Finally, it's time for desserts. This ice cream is from the haagen brand. There are four flavors. There is a series of cakes as well. It's really like eating a dozen cakes. In fact, it's a bit exaggerated. Each cake has its own unique appearance. We just picked a few and tried them afterwards. There are more than a dozen types of jelly and jelly type desserts in the fridge. There are many choices. In addition, for elderly who are not used to so many trendy and wild desserts, there are also local authentic choices such as Portuguese tarts and egg puffs, herbal jelly and sweet bean curd. Mama Heji said that when she saw this bean curd, even if she was full, she could not resist to get a portion. I felt that the bean curd was really smooth. There was a beany flavor like fighter soy. Our family unanimously recommended sweet bean curd. As for the ice cream, I've picked two new flavors I haven't tried. They are all of the usual haagen standard. The ice cream of this brand is usually not too greasy, but they are all sweet. The Portuguese tarts are mainly crispy. I found the crust and the custard stores quite heavy and buttery, so I felt quite stuffed after eating. I think the quality of the assorted cakes are average. The cakes here really has not much wow factor, as they don't make a deep impression on me. We also tried a few kinds of jelly, but again, they are nothing special, just not my taste. Finally, I remember that there are often audience who would be concerned about whether the buffet provides strengths. This episode, I can give you good news. This buffet includes basic non-alcoholic drinks that can be refilled unlimitedly, such as coffee, tea, and a chilled kumquat green tea, and they tasted right. If you have special requirements for drinks such as alcohol, fresh juice, and soft drinks, you will have to pay extra to enjoy them. 
All in all, I would say that the variety of food in this buffet is really abundant. So for friends who advocate one must have choices, or if you are just like my family who has mixed food preferences, you surely will not be disappointed. Although in terms of the food quality, I will feel that the food is not exquisite, but the taste is well mastered, so I think the level is above average. For friends who do not have much high demands for on food quality, the price performance ratio of the buffet in this hotel should be good. This video is not an advertisement, it's all personal video sharing and honest tasting review. Due to unforeseen changes in dining plans, the prices and details mentioned in the video may differ from the latest official arrangements. Apologies for any errors and omissions. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Looking forward to see you soon. Ciao!